Hello everyone, um, my name is Xin Hao. I'm a second year mechanical engineering student in UC Santa Barbara. Today I'm going to show you my new robotic arm. This is actually my first robotic arm. Um, it's all three, all parts are 3D printed except the electronics. And I designed and modified it in SOLIDWORKS and the whole robotic arm is controlled by Arduino. So um, this design was actually, uh, the original design was actually made by a designer uh, called, uh, let me see, a designer called uh, Enric. He posts his robotic arm on GrabCat community. Um, at first I want to design my own robotic arm, but later on, uh, I just want to have a more reference and just gaining some experience about how robotic arm are designed. So I download his packages. Uh, thanks for him, uh, for my uh, for the inspiration. But uh, I actually have to modify a lot of the part, uh, to fit the tolerance of three D printer, like uh, to to fit the tolerance through, uh, three D printing manufacturing. Uh, also, um, the torque, you have to consider a lot about the torque um, since, uh, in fact, after I purchased the servo, I found out the servo has less torque, has less actual torque than specified torque. So, um, this um, is my product. So, this, uh, this um, robotic arm is controlled by this uh, Arduino Mega. Uh, it's very messy right now. Um, and all parts are printed by this um, Prusa Mark, uh, Mark III, uh, I3, I think. And uh, for the electronics, it has, it has uh, four, uh, it has four servos, four HS422 servos. Here's two, here's two. Each two servo, servos control, um, uh, control each arm, uh, each joint. And here it has two more SG, uh, actually nine grams micro servo, and two more servo to control the wrist, um, the arm, and the gripper. So, um, for the electronic control part, you also need a lot of driver. Since oh sorry, I forgot to mention, uh, it require it require a stepper motor to rotate the space, and uh, so you need a first you need a, a DRV eight eight three three stepper motor from Adafruit. I mean you can get it from. Uh, uh, Amazon for other stepper motor driver. Uh, you also need the Arduino Mega 2560 and you also need a PCA 9685 uh, I2C servo driver. So I'm using this one. Sorry, I'm using this servo driver. You can control. You can control uh, up to 16 servos. I am only using half of them, so eight servos. Also, I'm using these two. Uh, there are two joysticks and two pot oh, po two joysticks and two potential meter knobs. Uh, so I can perform the menu, menu. Uh, the manual control of this robotic arm. And in addition, I also designed my own robotic gripper, as you can see at here. Um, it's very easy to design. Uh, so you only need uh, a few gears, and this gear, uh, this gear is drive by a servo under there. And uh, when this, this gear rotate, it will drive these two gears and by level by through the level arm these two 
um, these two jaws, I call it jaw, these two jaws can clamp and then grab the object. So I'm going to connect the battery right now. Uh, this is a home position. Uh, let me adjust the camera. Uh, I should move a little bit further. Okay. Uh, you can hear that uh, in fact it's very flawed because motor servo motors uh, they still have little misalignment and they, they are always fighting each other this will actually decrease your servos lifespan so later on I will use just use a big torque uh, single motor uh, to control each joint um, so I'm going to use this two joystick the first joystick can well control uh actually sorry uh sorry this is the first joy uh, joystick this one can control the rotation of the base it can rotate 180 degree but uh, i have a lot of wires so um, probably later on i'll put this wire inside here and use like a slider um, and then this one control the bottom and you can see and here is the maximum almost the maximum torque the servo is lower uh, has lower torque than specified value also each servo is actually fighting each other so these are not good design um, yeah it's, I have to push a little bit ah, shit. Yeah, see that problem. But overall, um, if you want to, it's my first design, so I I straight down, just make more experience. So this is the second joystick, control the middle joint, and the upper joint. Okay. And this two potentiometer knob can control the gripper and the rotation of this arm, uh, this, this hand. Actually, that's a very bad view. Actually, I will show you a better, get you a better angle. Oh, hold on, which one is it? Uh, hold on, hold on. Um. Okay. Okay, I have a better angle. Also, I shouldn't use the uh, bolt and nut to connect this joint. I should use some lock nut and also the standoff to uh, connect this joint because the bolt and the M3 bolt and the will get loose every time I try to spin this so this is my gripper uh, actually let me get you a better angle so you can see the gripper's front Actually, it can be get bigger. Uh, I don't know what happened. Okay, so uh, that's the basic function. Uh, okay, here's the challenge. Um, let's try to grab this. Although I, uh, we have to do it manually. Uh, this is not like a ABB uh, robotic arm, but just for fun. Uh, Okay, uh, uh, 
three. Okay. Uh, you see that actually my my stepper motor I set the step the step to be uh, forty or fifty. Uh, that's kind of big, so I will probably decrease that. But if you decrease it too small, it will turn too slow. So uh, yeah, it just has a lot of problem need to modify. But uh, kind of oh 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 good good. Ah, jeez. Ah, uh, hold, hold on, hold on. Ah, this is cheating. Come on, man. Um, uh, which one? Ah, shit. Okay. Let's grab this. Hold on. Ah! Ah, uh, it's too hard. Let's grab this. Oh, 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 oh. Pull it up. Ah! Ah, oh, god damn it. Yeah, probably, uh... Hmm. Oh, 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 Yeah. So, um, Here, I think this is not enough. How many some uh, material, like adhesive material? Uh, yeah. So it's still very far away from an industrial robotic arm, but I hope later on I can. Make it. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. So thank you guys. I hope you guys like my video. Uh, I think after I took, after I take a, like a mechatronics or a dynamic class in college later, uh, I can do this better. So uh, there's still a lot of problems to solve. Um, thank you very much.